just left camp there, and making our way up this ridge, staying on the, the opposite side to the sheep. We don't want to expose ourselves in case some of those rams just come feeding over here. We've got to make it up there, keep a good steady pace to get to the top. Whew. Did you see him come up just over the corner, Greg? Yeah, that's a good thing because that we were all sitting down because even if they you know catch a little bit of movement of somebody's head, yeah. just moving up. That's all they need. Like we wouldn't even know that he saw us and he'd just go down the other side. So we gotta move quick, because that one ram was just up and moving. We gotta get our packs on, because we're gonna expose ourselves across this ridge. Okay, okay go, gone. go. Mace, grab your pack. If anybody sees a sheep, let everybody know just to stop. are up a little higher. They apparently have spotted uh, the big rams 700 yards away. They're pretty excited, so they're gonna put them to bed. I'm just trying to contain my excitement as much as I possibly can because I've never seen a band of solid rams like the one I'm looking at right now. And there are two really good sheep in there. Just gotta play this right. They're in a tough spot. We're spending the night in the rocks, I can guarantee you. late it's well it's about quarter after nine so i just uh, signaled for them to set the tents up right where they are so we're going to set the tents up down here so when the guys come back probably around dark they can have a quick something to eat and we'll get a few hours sleep and i'd be up and at it first thing tomorrow morning i'm just gonna stay here until i can't see anything anymore
Nice camp. Mm -hmm. 100%. Good camp. Yes, he did. It's a good flashlight. Yeah, you hit him. You hit him. He just... Shoot him again. You hit him. He's done. He just went down. Me? Yes. 100% <laughs> sure. He just went down. So we spent the night in the rocks here last night. We froze all night. But early this morning, the big ram stood up and Greg got him. Shortly after, the other ram stood up and Denise got that one as well. So we're going to make our way down here and get some warmer clothes on and go see these sheep. I've been so fortunate. I had so many amazing hunts with my family. And to have a, a double header on two amazing sheep. I'm not sure we can top this one. <laughs> I don't think I need to top this one. I think last year, because I, you know, I hit high, it kind of broke my confidence a little bit. But I was so worried about not getting a good shot. It's like a relief. Like, it's just like, do you feel like you can breathe again? So it's moments like this after, you know, you work so hard and you take a life and you see the other rams walked away, but this guy came back because he knew that there was something wrong. There was, we were missing one. And I think that actually he thought we were possibly his buddy and he started to come down the ridge to straight toward us. So now this ram doesn't want to leave and it's, it's sad, you know, they're amazingly social animals and clearly strong bonds between them. It's always hard taking a life of an animal. When you see this, it just, it really hits home. It's not just an animal. I think our packs are about to get heavier. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're about <laughs> to get... In a good way. <laughs> totally. How old do you think he is? One, two, three, four, five, Eleven or twelve. Those are the ones you want to take. Beautiful. That literally was probably the craziest hunt stock that I've ever had. Yeah, that was pretty wild. <laughs> well, let's go see yours. Yeah, let's go check them out. Lead the way. Well, he is really broomed hard, eh? That's where I got him. Yep. Awesome shot. Can you tell how old he is? He is old as well. He's probably 12 as well. He looks kind of rough and tough. Old ram. Yeah. You ever seen that before? This guy likes to fight. Look at this thing. That looks like it was oh, pretty nasty. Yeah. That's like a broken jaw at one point. It's amazing you survived that, you know, trying to eat. For me, Nice, this has been like uh, another hunt of a lifetime. We laid a plan and that plan changed by the minute. It, the plan changed a number of times, yeah. <laughs> well, the only ram that was actually visible from where we were shooting was this guy. And you were gracious enough to let me shoot the stone sheep. Well, this was the number one priority to me. You didn't shoot a sheep last year. I knew how much this meant to you, so I got a nice sheep last year. That's nice. Oh, that's how I felt. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's always going to be special to look back on the photos and all of us standing around these two rams together. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. August 1's the magic day. <laughs> so far, anyways, two years in a row. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We've got some miles <laughs> to get back to that plane, and yeah. uh, we'll do it with a smile on our face, though. I'm not going to complain about a heavy pack on the way down. <laughs> <laughs>